We have something a little different today, and it barely fits on the screen. <laughs> so, and this is my first time actually handling like a full-size K-Bar knife. I'm pretty excited. My buddy Noah dropped this off, and this is something that he had custom made. So this is a custom K-Bar. This is an original sheath from, you know, um, USMC uh, issued K-Bar, which is in great shape. And he worked with a maker, Jerry Decker, and I'm just going to stick the sheath off to the side uh, to make this San My Damascus replica K-Bar, if you will. I, you know, it is I must, a true-to-life exact dimensioned K-Bar, from, from what I understand. <clears throat> it fits perfectly in the sheath, so I'm sure it's roughly the same. And we'll go through some of the dimensions here in just a minute. But, yeah. So this was made by Jerry Decker, who is a maker I know basically nothing about. Couldn't find a lot about. I think he stopped doing knives, from what I understand, when um, coronavirus hit and the pandemic shut the world down. He stopped making knives and, you know, maybe went back to his day job. I, I don't know. I don't know much about him. If you do know much about him or if you know anything, let me know. If you happen to know him, share the video and have him reach out to me. So this is stainless steel over... 80 CRV2. I think it looks amazing. <clears throat> I like the fuller and the fact that you can see the other steels in the fuller. It has a nice guard. Show you the other side of the blade here. I mean, it's nice. And a nice true to form kind of stacked leather handle with a nice pommel and I don't know, not necessarily a glass, you know, whatever. And the pommel is actually screwed on. I noticed while I was spending time with this, but it's all done really, really well. And my buddy Noah had this made specifically. He was doing a lot of veterans um, off-roading. Like he would take a bunch of veterans on a, a Jeep run up into the mountains and go to the Rubicon and things like that. So he was doing a lot to give back to the veterans, of which my dad is a Marine. Um, rest in peace, Dad. So the Marine Corps kind of does hold a, a little bit of a special meaning to me and my family, um, just because dad was in the Marines towards the end of World War II. So lots of stories from that era and from dad growing up. So, um, and my buddy Alex from the EDC Hour with Dirk and Alex is also a Marine. Uh, and in high school, I was in the Marine Corps ROTC. So yeah, there you go. So Noah had this made, and it was going to be a giveaway knife for one of his veterans' off-roading events. And then coronavirus came. They finally finished the knife. The pandemic hit. They shut down all of that stuff. And so Noah didn't do a run and hasn't given this away yet. So he is looking to do another event and give this away to a veteran. But I think it's fantastic. Like... It feels great in the hand, and it's something, because it's 80 CRV2, you could use this. Like, this could be like your truck knife or something. I, I think it's really cool. So it's 12 and a quarter inches overall with a six and three quarter inch blade with a six and a half inch cutting edge. Behind the edge is really thick, but again, this is more of your outdoor working knife. Behind the edge is 0.05. The blade thickness is 0.264. The overall thickness here at the widest part of the handle is just, just a hair over an inch. 
and the pommel is 1.67 at its widest. It does weigh in at 14.8 ounces by itself or one pound 2.7 ounces as a unit. I think it's really cool. It shows that somebody took some time to pay homage to our veterans, of which I do not think as a general population we do enough of. I also don't know that as a veteran, every conversation you have with somebody, you need to start off with, hi, my name is Dirk and I'm a veteran. Uh, Dirk doesn't say that, but I've been around some people that they want you to know that they were a vet within the first five minutes of you meeting them. I don't know if that's such a necessity either, but... I don't know. What do you guys think? I think this is incredible. I think it's really cool. And uh, I'm excited that Noah dropped this off at the house. So it gives me a chance to probably try to hook up with him when I give it back to him. If I give it back. I'm giving it back. I think it's super cool. But I, yeah, I would hang it on a wall or something if it were me personally. But let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to hear your comments.